followed. The good news is, is that the COVID numbers right now are at a record low in terms of uh, deaths in the UK. Basically, this is the best it's ever been since the first uh, outbreak. But we've extended the lockdown. The yeah. restrictions are still going to be in place for another month, just in case. And here's the thing, right? I think everyone had sort of gotten to grips with the idea that there would be restrictions at some point. But it's the endlessness of those restrictions that I think people are now feeling it, the I, frustration I, I, with, I feel like I'm right? living in the, the never-ending story. I'm just waiting for that big talking fucking dog. It's just the fact that no one knows when it's going to end. It keeps getting extended. We, we're kept in the dark by... There's a good That's reason for That's what's pissing that. me off. Also, the, the problem is, is that the data, as uh, Boris calls it, that we used to prolong the restrictions was out of date. So the data is out of date. Data. Boris, as you'd say, and this is very much language you would understand, WTF. COVID modeling that pushed back tw June 21, June 21st, was based on out of date data. Didn't check the date on it. Didn't check, yeah. Should have checked the date. Should we overturn it and give people the complete freedom back as promised? Nah, best to be safe than sorry. But the, the data was out of date, so you're not, never mind, I've said it now. Can't I've overturn. I can't undo what I've said. No, but you, you are undoing what you said because you promised us all that we'd be no. free and out of this no. bollocks. No, no, no. no, ultimately, I'm a prime minister that works on how people see me, not actual practicality. Well, uh, as long as people love me, that's the, the, good. The sad thing is, is I'm actually in agreement with a former prime minister Which about one? this. We will not eradicate COVID-19 from the UK. There will not be a time when we can say that there will never be another case of COVID-19 in this country. Secondly, variants will keep on coming. If the government's position is that we cannot open up travel until there are no new variants elsewhere in the world, then we will never be able to travel abroad ever again. And the third fact that the government needs to state much more clearly is that sadly people will die from COVID here in the UK in the future, as 10 to 20,000 people do every year. From flu. A little bit of a news flash there from uh, Theresa. People will die of COVID in the future. It's about time we got our heads around that. This notion that anything and everything must be done to prevent that, no matter what the ramifications are on the other end, no matter the thousands of cancer appointments that have been delayed and will then result in deaths, what impact it has on the children of today, no matter what impact it has on the businesses of today, no matter how many people die on the other end or, or end up in the shit on the other end we've got to justify it because people might die of covid and the fact that we've got the vast majority of the population still vaccinated when we were promised 15 million vaccines and then we we're, were able to have freedom that lie was swept under the fucking carpet super quick the, the nhs is there to support this country this country should not be changing its behavior for the foreseeable future because we have built an nhs that isn't strong enough to withstand what we've been going through we should then focus on helping the nhs improving the nhs actually spending money on the nhs the answer isn't to tell everyone to fucking stay indoors forever we've done everything that they've they've told us to do we've all played by the rules for as long as humanly possible enough's enough isn't it am i the only one who feels this way because it's been too tweeted out a lot this and I'm, I'm gonna yeah. reply three weeks to flatten the curve 12 weeks to turn the tide back to normal by october we can save christmas freedom by easter june 21st one last push for summer how many times are we gonna have this thing pulled a bit further away and part of it is because the minute they actually stop this from officially being a pandemic a lot of the powers that has enabled them to pad the pockets of their fucking friends with all these bullshit contracts that they've been handing out go away the cynic and me feels like because the the covid deaths are so low i can only imagine that what they're trying to do before the end is fucking fill the fucking briefcase while they can there's still people who've had both vaccines they're, they're fucking wearing masks outside non-stop they're fucking terrified the risk now is so fucking low and yet they're not acknowledging it they don't want us to realize actually the things that are completely different. I'm just frustrated because yeah. we should have options in government. We should have someone else, another party we could turn to and go, this lot of shit, will you sort it out? Right now, I'm at a point where I'd vote for anyone who said, well, I'll just end the lockdown immediately. I, you got my vote. What, what do you want to do? Do you want to set us all on fire afterwards? I don't even mind. Just give us, you know what I mean? Like, it, I'm so what desperate. A what a vision. I'm so desperate right. for any 
anything to challenge this because Labour are pathetic. And that's I'm it. desperate for a media to actually question instead of just spreading the fear and actually look into these twats and actually hold them up for what they've been doing wrong instead of just, uh, you know, acting as a propaganda machine. We've got nothing. The internet. Idiots like me and him. We're having to come out and say this because I'm, I'm just fucked off. 